Hello, this is a tutorial on one of the better note-taking apps that's out there. It's free, it's called Evernote, and you can get to it at Evernote.com. Evernote has desktop versions available for both the Mac and the PC, as well as versions available for your mobile devices, for the Android and the iOS system. The nice thing is, is that once you create and store anything in this virtual cloud note storage, you can access it on any of those other devices. It instantly syncs, and anytime you go into your particular account, you can get access to that material. So you would need to sign up for a free account. They do have a premium account that costs you, I believe it's uh, $5 monthly, or it's $45 for the year is a discounted price, but I have uh, not used anything in, in the premium. I only uh, use the free account and does enough of what I needed to do. So think about it as a place to store content. From a student perspective, anytime you have access to uh, information, you want to take notes, especially if you want to take notes digitally, rather than writing them all uh, on paper and pencil, you can actually use your mobile device and take notes right into Evernote and you can organize them. So I'm now going to pause and log in. Okay, I am now into my uh, Evernote account. You do have, uh, when you go in, it may look a little different. You have the ability to set it up in different views. So this is a different view here. That's the side list view, the top list view. Okay, so you do have different choices. And all I'm doing is clicking on this little icon here in order to get those choices. So what I have over to the left side in my margin here, I have uh, notes. These are all my individual notes. Notebooks, which is a way if you wanted to organize things by class, you could create a notebook per course or subject or topic or what have you and then put all the notes in that particular spot. You have the ability to tag things. So you can put a word or a couple of words that will uh, be like shortcuts, if you will, to that particular item so that you can just search by tags rather than having to know um, well, it was this particular title of an assignment in this class, and it was three months ago or something like that. Uh, if you tag items, sometimes it makes it easy to find. Uh, Atlas allows you to know where that particular item was, uh, was captured, and Market and Premium give you access to those other things we talked about. So you're primarily going to be focusing on notes, notebooks, and tags. So in this particular area, I have a list of some of the more recent things that I did. I can just, this is kind of like a shortcut area. I can just click on these things and pull up these individual notes. Okay. And then over here, this is kind of like my workspace area. So I can create a new note. Just by clicking on this new note area, it's given me this particular note. I can say notes from October 6th lecture and then right away I can just start typing anything I want to put down the instructor gives me a website and something that I need to go look at later I can pop that in okay any type of thing I want once I get to this particular area and I get kind of a regular toolbar out here there's a lot of different features that I can do notice this looks like almost like a Word document uh, tutorial. I can do some highlighting of things. I can make bullet points, number items, okay? Add and remove bulleted and numbered lists. I can highlight. I can do some underline, italicize, and bold. Uh, I can change the color of my text. I can change the type of font and the size of the font. I also have the ability over here to do various types of uh, centerings. I can create a table. And this is another nice feature. I can actually record an audio. So if I wanted to talk into this particular note rather than type, I could do that by hitting the record audio. I could also add a file attachment through this uh, paperclip link here. Okay, so assuming I'm done, I just click out of this note here. I now have this note. I can actually take a particular note and I can drag it oops, into a particular notebook if I would like. The notebook itself is kind of a good place to identify, uh, maybe break things down by topic. Rather than having a whole bunch of notes, which can kind of get a little disorganized after a while, if you wanted to have notes 
uh, together and organized, creating a, a new notebook, okay? So I just create a new notebook and, whoops, got to be able to spell it. Okay, so I now have this new notebook. So once I'm in the notebook, I can actually new note in test notebook for training, which is the notebook that I just created. And I can just put the note in my overall notebook or I can, this bpain01, that's me, okay? That's my account. So I can just put it in my general notes, but if I wanted to put it in a specific notebook, I'm gonna wanna identify that and then I can do my testing and copying any information that I want. So I'm taking my notes in class or things that I want to remind myself of later and everything is is date and timestamp so we would know exactly when I created this lecture. I don't have to actually put the date on here or anything. Okay so let's look at some of the other things. We talked about the tags itself so I can add some tags on this particular note. I can share the note so it gives me a list of people that I want to send it to so I can put email addresses in there or if I have groups already created I can do that that way. I can create reminders for myself. I can add a date that something specifically has to happen and I'll get an email uh, reminder as to when when that's due. Uh, I can do some annotations on a note. So let's say this was a Word document or something, some document that somebody sent me or I captured in and in, in through the entire thing here. Maybe it's an attachment. I can then annotate on the entire note um, as if it was a PDF with annotations. I have the ability to play this in full screen mode, which is what I'm doing now. I'm gonna get out of here. That's full screen. If I was going to present notes, I have the ability, here's the share again, and then I can get little instructional uh, info on this. This is what I titled it, this is the date and time that I created it, and so forth. And then I also, the trash can, we all know what the trash can is. The trash can allows me to delete a particular note. Again, I'm going to go back to my notes. I can add a note at any time. I can move notes. I can create notebooks. I can create tags or find tags on notes that I've already created. So if I wanted to find a tag on something that I did earlier, I don't, I'm not sure that I tagged. Oh, I have a tag of example. This was an example. So I, that was a tag that I created earlier. Here's a list of some examples. And so anything that's tagged with that example is going to pull up. Okay. So it's so not too hard uh, to figure out how to do. Again, you create your account. It's, it is free, and it allows you to create notes, take notes along the way in digital format, and then they're instantly available in the cloud because uh, your account can be accessed from any type of PC, Mac, or mobile device. Just make sure you have the proper apps for the mobile devices, but you can, uh, you can download the, um, the web-based app, or you can actually, if you're on a public computer, you can just log in to the web-based app with your account ID and password and get access to any of your stuff. So that's all there is to uh, taking notes and organizing content in Evernote.